The Gutenberg editor for Drupal is really cool. It allows you to build landing pages and other unstructured content in a way that's just really drag and drop. But of course, it comes from the WordPress world. But even the Gutenberg editor is a little limited. Well, not anymore. Hi, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin, and in this episode, I want to show you the Gutenberg Cloud. It's an add-on for the Gutenberg module in Drupal that allows you to add user-created blocks to your Gutenberg library. All right, let's dive in. So I'm here at gutenbergcloud.org, and I'm going to click on Browse Blocks, and this gives us an overview of what's available. There's lots of different and really interesting blocks, and honestly, it just gives you such a head start. Back over here on my site, I've already installed Gutenberg, and I've enabled the Gutenberg Cloud module. I'm going to click on Configuration, Content Authoring, and Gutenberg Cloud Block Manager. You have to do this in order to install the blocks that you want to use. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to install FeatureBox, but we'll probably use a different one. But we'll probably use one of the other ones I have installed. And it's just that simple. Now I'm going to head back over and add content. I'm going to click Article. I've already set up my article content type to use Gutenberg. If you want more information on that, we have videos at OS Training. I'm going to click the plus symbol. And if you've used Gutenberg before, you know what this is. And there's the feature box I just enabled. I'm going to click Content in Columns. And this is a really good one as well. I'm going to click on the Media Library. I've already got a couple of images inserted. There we go. I can upload a new one and choose a different one as well. Terrific. I can make them even overlap if I want, depending on the shape and size of the original image. I can add captions, column title. Well, you get the idea. As you can see on the screen, the Gutenberg Cloud does require its own module or WordPress plugin. You install either of those in the normal way. And if you're interested, of course, you can get an account and contribute. So that was actually pretty simple. Turn on a module, configure, install the blocks that you want to use, and well, they're there for you to use. How easy is that? <laughs> Thanks for watching today. My name's Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel. We release new videos every Tuesday.